I've worked really hard um, to build the best library in the world, and I think, with some immodesty, that we have done so. It's a very good library. But I constantly have people come to me and say, why is this game not in the library? And I usually have a good reason for that. And I do take lots of advice. I have games in there that are not that good, like Diplomacy or um, Merchants of Venus or whatever it might be. I'm, I'm just Man. speaking truth here. But wow. what we're going to do here is we're going to have, first these three guys are going to give me some games that they th should think in the library, and I have to come up with valid reasons why they're not, or they're going to end up in the library next year. Mm. And if you, you can boo or cheer if you think it should be in the library. And then when they're done, we'll have some other people. If you don't know who these people are, we have on the very end, the suave Mike Delisio. Rico. Rico. Suave. And in the middle, the oldest employee of the Dice Tower. Well, not oldest. But 97 years old, folks. Look at how he's getting around. I'm Z really Garcia. Yay. The I'm hottest Cuban in board games. The only I. Thank you. I, 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 back from Washington. The dead. Not <laughs> the dead. What? No, Sam no. Healy. I'm, I'm, I'm back from the dead. What's up, everybody? All right, so I think we got. Sam going first, so okay. here we go. I think uh, someone needs to say number five. Number five. Did I take somebody's job right there? <laughs> mm -hmm. no, 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 no one asked. No, no. stop, no Jason. Asked. Oh, no. I'm getting the mic for Eric to do, his, do the numbers. Yes, like that's what I was asking. Oh, that's okay. fine, then. Eric does a much love, better job than I do. Risking his life running watching, through water. I love watching him run. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Number five. Yeah! Eric, All right. uh, All right. Eric I have a question for you. Are you able to do that without raising one of your eyebrows, or is that just physically impossible? It's part of the performance. Fantastic. <laughs> Bravo, sir. <laughs> Sent shivers down my spine. All right, my number five is a game that was brought up to me last Dice Tower West by a man who shall be unnamed for various reasons. Oh. It's by... This is... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, it's a cooperative game. It's a family game, and it's a story-driven game. Sounds good. The Adventures of Robin Hood. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I have a good reason for the this The Adventures one. of Robin Hood yeah. it is an amazing game. So Why? I took it home to play with my family, because, and then I got the expansion, and then we Fire tuck, put the yes. library together, and it wasn't in the library, and I didn't want to redo it, so I just left it at my house. So those stickers that are inside the box don't apply to you, is that what it means? <laughs> yeah. What's mm. up? This is not off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is correct. This should be in the library. It will be next cruise. Next cruise. You have to wait a whole year, folks. Sorry. That's my number five, Adventures of Robin Hood. So I guess we should have really picked games he just took home one day, huh? <laughs> That's one game. He just got this, it. Lucky. This is not going to work out so well for us. Rob from the rich and keep it. All right. My number five is a fantastic racing game, and racing is hot, hot, hot right now Oof. with games like Heat, Pedal to the Metal, and something else probably. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> heat is super popular right now. You know what the opposite of Heat is? Cold, baby. Snow. Snow Tales. How come you don't have that game Ooh. in the library? It's wow. a fantastic, thinky, doggy-filled game. People love doggies. People love racing. Uh -huh. That should be in there. Okay, so... Without being punny, it's it's not hot. <laughs> I mean, did, was did anyone here come looking for that? Oh, That's no. right. Boy. Get that person a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> and a copy of Robin it's Hood. It's fine. I think that other games have superseded it. I disagree. You took it home one time and forgot it. Probably so. Yeah, that Indeed. should be in the library. Again, I think it's a great time. 
Even though it might not be hot right now, I think it's a good time for it to make a comeback because people are in that mood for racing games. All right, who Ooh. thinks it should be in the library? If you've never tried it, clap and those you've hands, been, folks. You've been enjoying heat. You gotta check this one out, and no better way to check it out than in the Dice Tower Library, because you're not I'll, gonna find it. It's true. <laughs> you know? I'll think about it. I get, right. I, I guess one could say that that uh, Tom has mushed that game. That's not even good. What? I'd you like have, to follow. You that. have mush to apologize for. Mm. Uh, I'm so very mushy. Mike, save us. All right. Uh, before we get to my number five, I was interested when Jason said to look, be vigilant, ever vigilant for pieces, game pieces. They could be anywhere. Uh, I found the Frost Giant mini from Blood Rage in my beef a bourguignon. What? It's true. In your food? Yes. How's that possible? I don't know. I was hoping that that would go over better, but, you know. Uh, Wait, that was a joke? Oh, that was a it joke. Was a joke. That's, say, see, it again, say, it say it again. You say it again. You lower expectations. Say it again one time. You lower expectations, and then you it's come with be, the fire of number it's gonna five. It's going to be mush better this time. Say it again. Uh, no, I'm good. All right. My number five. It has everything, Tom. It has dice. I know you like dice. Okay. It has robots. Dice and robots. It has cards. It's out of print. Shocking from you. It has quadratic equations. It's only been published in Japan, and they made six of them <laughs> by hand. Does anyone have a guess as to what I'm saying? Sentient. My number five is Sentient. Tom, why is this game not in the library? This is a fantastic, fantastic game. This one's not in the library because no one checked it out for a year. I refuse oh. to believe that. Is that true? Probably. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. Uh -huh. I need hard data. Has anyone I played I gotta be Sentient? careful, because Wendy knows the stats, not me. Those of you who played it, but... keep your hand up if you think it should be in the library. There we go, Tom. Put your hands up if you've never even heard of this game. Thank you. No, and how know. many of you go I've to the Dice Tower Library to be exposed to games you've never heard before? <laughs> Tom Vassell. Ooh. That's a nice one. That's Touché. my number five. Touche. That's good. Well done. That's good. Fine. Number right. four. Yeah, yeah. All right, my number four uh, was going to be a really good, really good uh, inside joke that would involve Z, but there's been a little bit of a clerical error on my part. Okay. And we had to do some switching around today. So my number, we'll talk about that later, but it has to do about those boxes that Simon found in their warehouse. Oh, boy. But anyway, oh, um, <laughs> we're going to go with number four. Number four is a game called Assassin's Creed, the Brotherhood of Venice. Hey, look, that kid's Triton interested Noir. again. You I know, said right? Assassin's I, I Creed, Assassin's and he's like, Creed. He well, was like, video what? game. These nerds are video talking game. about video games now. <laughs> Triton Noir, it's one of the best. There's nobody up there, people. Stop looking. It's a joke. <laughs> come to me. Come to me, my child. <laughs> that Sorry. is power. That is power. No. We got sidetracked. Assassin's Creed, the Brotherhood of Venice by Triton Noir it has one of the best stealth mechanisms in the biz right now. And it's a really hot, popular title. I don't think I've played this one. Isn't what? this the same game? No, it's not. As V Commandos, right? Or v, v, v Places. V. It was produced at two different times, so it's yeah. not the same game. That's not, that's not <laughs> that, mm, no. Mm. <laughs> They didn't, no, okay, that no, wasn't good. So the answer for this one is good. they did not send it to us. Oh. oh. Publisher shaming. Oh. Publisher so shaming. those of you who have been around for a while, when Tom walks into some place, he has to be recognized. <laughs> Twiton, Triton Noir didn't recognize Tom, so... Uh, that is like an 11-year-old joke at this that point. That is true. It's probably, All right. That's probably true. But, no, um, you know, I don't ahead. know. I, I do find that the intellectual property games like this don't get played a ton. We have some in the library, but also, don't we have V Commandos in the library? I don't remember. I, I will talk about that possibly <laughs> later oh, on. Okay. Well, you have the same battle. game on your list twice? Man, you know how I do things. Are there any other versions of V rules, Commandos brother. that are not Bang in the library? the dice game. Wow. All right, Assassin's Creed, who wants that one? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> 
No, no, but no. that kid was just stretching. That's not no. That kid there was are stretching. definitely right. some he was going people like this. out here. He was going like here. this with a book. You are not nobody. Oh. Come for Were you putting your hand up, young man? Dice tower. Mom's about to push you off the ship. <laughs> Answer him. Answer him. No? Okay, good. Oh, look at that smile, though. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, nobody cares about that game. My yeah, whatever. Number four is a fantastic game. It's got cards. I'm going to do this mic style. There it's you got go. cards. It. Yeah. It's got a box. Uh-huh. It's got artwork. Uh-huh. Robot? Got cardboard. It's got murder. Murder? Murder. Say somebody going to die? Lots of people going to die. <laughs> the Bloody Inn is not in the library. Shocking. Shocking. The crowd goes wild. Why is the Bloody Inn not in the bloody library? Oh. Ooh, language, sir. There is anybody here British? British in the old days? Is anyone British? I apologize. There for are Z at least right two. Now. Forgive I know me for that. my language. That was yes. shameful. And frankly, yes. another two one over there. Right over there. You just deeply offended that pair. They're going to hurt you know, during I dinner. I don't know. I think we tried to get in. It was too expensive. I think that's what happened. It, don't it, it don't you have games library. that are like $1,000 in that that's library true. right now? Sell Small World <laughs> that's Insane right. Edition. Correct. And get that. <laughs> that's correct. Who's it's, playing Small World, like, life-size one? It's an ugly game, though. It's not in ugly, the library. Ugly, like, on the inside? No, like... It's not in the library. Artwork oh, okay. is... Bleh, bleh. Tell you the what, artwork is from bleh, bleh. Weberson Santiago. Okay. One of the... Okay, most it's renowned be in the artists. Uh, I just, just got to like find it. a copy of it. It's great. Thank you. It's a wonderful game. Mm -hmm. If you want to play it, I have one. Uh huh. Or, you know, <laughs> I, think, I think you're winning here. All right, good. <laughs> okay. I prefer you pick worse games so I don't have to follow. My number four hey, you know what's hot right now? What type of game is hot right now? What? Racing games. Yeah. yeah. Hot, hot, hot. You got heat. Mike, I put Formula E in there for you and you alone. Formula E's in there, right? Formula E is in the library. Yeah, no, so, uh, yeah. Play, play, play Formula E, by the way. You want to race elephants. You know you do. My number four is a classic from a certain doctor. Oh, then I don't care. Winner Circle slash Royal Turf. Am I right? Thank you. We have three vociferous fans of the doctor, one of them German. All right. Winner's Circle is a fantastic <laughs> racing game. And the, the fact that we don't have this in the library and we have other substandard racing games, mm -hmm. not including Formula E, is shocking. <laughs> and now, I, uh, so needs I thought to be about this, Mike, but I think, A, no one plays it. B, there's only one good version of it, a nice one from Korea. And which I know you have probably. And, <laughs> Maybe. and C, the um, downforce does everything this game does and better. No. Nah. He sounded really confident. He sounded confident, but yeah. I know better. Very, no, very dude, confident. Downforce isn't even really a racing game. Ooh. Neither is Winner's Circle. Ooh. Yeah, it is. I mean, you're making odds, but it's still, you got to, you know, you're racing. This is the worst comebacks ever. <laughs> no, you shut up. And Sam's invested, like, ooh. He said, "Why?" No, okay. Tell me. Oh. Tell me that uh, why this one is racing, and downforce is not. The What's horses. The difference? Checkmate. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Cars, physics. No, I have no defense to that, Tom. You have a very valid argument, but I'm choosing to ignore it. Talk you need to put horses. winner's I, circle in the I library. I can't put every game of Canizia in the library, or there would be no other games. And the problem is. Oh. No, now, come that's on. no, I know come you on. need a diverse library, one that includes Winter Circle. That's my number four. All right, let's move on. Number three. Who said that? You realize he always gets more clapping from everyone just for doing numbers. My number three is a, a game that I believe Tom just does not like very much, and mm. I think that's why it's not in the library. Mm. Oh, Matter Tom. of fact, the copy that I have began with him and he gave it to me because he didn't like it that much anyway so i think that hate has just continued over the years well, maybe and he you refuses have the dice tower library copy he refuses to put fire and axe a viking saga <laughs> in the library the crowd goes wild fire and axe a viking saga 
just got pulled from the library like a few months ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Okay, yeah, that's true. So I did give Sam a copy, and then I thought, you know what? Maybe I was hard on that game. So I put, I got the new ugly version. Yes, the new ugly version. And I still have uh, many of the components from the original version mixed with some of the good components from that version. So, any so I put it back in the library, and then very few people played it, and I said, should I get rid of it? And Z said, yeah, you probably should. So I did. I never said that. Whoa, whoa. Hi, hi. Physical so it's assault? Z's fault. Much? Huh? Not okay. What? There's this is why <laughs> this is why you don't put fire and acts of Viking saga in the library. Why? Okay? Because of this violence. It inspires it's, violence. It's Instead, not... Wait, the you bloody the bloody in <laughs> resolves conflict. Yeah. In a yeah. final okay. kind of How does it resolve conflict, way. Z? Eh? How does it resolve conflict? <laughs> like that. Yeah, th Man, this, this is this one's not coming back. This is such a great game. Um, Bruno Fadudi's number one game of the year, the year it came out. Really? It is. The year it came out. The year it came out. Yeah. That's how games right. of the I, year I works. I got you. I got Sam. you. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I got you. Don't be dissing top ten of the year. Yeah, don't you diss Fadudi. That's uh, right. That's the second best Bruno there is. <laughs> okay. Watch your mouth. All right. This is a great game. Uh, one of my favorite mechanisms is the movement and uh, the weekly planning mechanism where you have to move and load things onto your ship. It's a great game. Great Viking game. It should be there. Tom's wrong. Who it's wants okay. it? Nobody wants it. Yeah. That guy's waving at someone. Nobody <laughs> wants it. Three, four, five, six, All right, Z, go. No, no, it's dead. If we got to 10, <laughs> we probably would have been able to ha pull it off. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My number three might actually be on Mike Delisio's upcoming games. I agree. This is a wonderful cooperative game. I agree. From an incredibly renowned designer. Oh, my word. Matt Leacock. You guys know who Matt Leacock is. You've heard of Pandemic? Yep. Yeah, it's great. The new Mad Leacock game, Gabe Daybreak, that's in the library. It's a good game. I just played it, actually. Very nice, cooperative game. But there's one missing in there. Wait. Thunderbirds. This isn't in the library? Thunderbirds is a wonderful cooperative game that does something different than Pandemic, something different than all the other Mad Leacock games, and it's not in the library. No. We no, there are 12 copies of Pandemic in that library, and no, no one plays no, no. them. Talking about Thunderbird. None I know, of them are called Thunderbird. You don't play Pandemic, you ain't playing this oh, oh, game. I, I get it. I game. understand. I it's understand. not as good as these guys say it is. It's, re it's, it's better. It's very good. Have you played yeah. it? Yes. Have Amazon you... is doing drone deliveries I'd nowadays, watch the Tom. Intro to this Let's show. get it here, end of day. Same day delivery. Yeah. Same day delivery. <laughs> FAB. I want it waiting for me in Labadee tomorrow. Who it's wants very, this in the library? It's a very good oh. game. Oh, oh, overwhelming. I'll think about it. It's yeah, another, baby. It's another ugly game. That's Two why. for three. Not on my list, Z, but you're right. Really? I, I co-sign that 100%. Okay, all right, good. Co-sign. <laughs> Anybody a fan of uh, Terry Brooks? Well, that's a good start, Mike. Anybody a fan of... <laughs> Discworld? Let me help you out. Anybody like games? Right. <laughs> anybody yeah, I got them ready for it. Anybody you. wish they had a sunshade? All right. My number three, shockingly, is not in the library. This is Discworld Ankh More Pork from acclaimed designer Martin Wallace. No, don't you all dare clap. It's been in the library for years and no one played it. Don't clap. Look, people are just finding out about Terry Brooks now, Tom. <laughs> this it's is Terry new. Pratchett. This is all. This all started with TikTok. Tom hates turtles. Discworld is a fantastic game by the designer Martin Wallace, and it's not like most of his games. It's very wacky and chaotic, and you are playing as a particular character, and you have different win conditions, and no one knows who the other players are until they start seeing what type of strategy they're going for, and they're like, ah. I bet they're the one that's going for all the money. They want to have all, all the, the money, all yep. the in, you know, the income. It's yep. a really nice game. It's a uh, medium weight, and uh, if you, especially if you like the IP, you'll be all over this. But even if you don't know anything about it, it's still a really fun mid-weight kind of asymmetric style game. Discworld Ankh Morpork needs to be there, Tom. 
So we left it there for a while. No one played it. We got rid of it. And then we added in the new version of it that was a redone trash. theme. Huh? Which is trash. Well, I guess so, because no one played that either. Correct. That's two strikes out. That is how baseball works. That's how Dice Tower works. All right. <laughs> You're we on ask, one strike. We can ask the people who want it again, and then you can just illustrate how much you ignore. Oh, okay. Go ahead. How many people would like to see Discworld Ankh Morpork in the library? No, come Too on. Too bad. Tom hates Dollar you all. Pandering. Pandering. <laughs> I rest my case. Number two. Eh. Eh. Not your best work. sound a little samey. Not your best work. Now, my number two, there are a number of games in the library that carry the same game system. Yes. But this one that is missing from that system is probably one of the best games in that system. Mm -hmm. And that is Zombicide, Undead, or Alive. And it is not there. Ooh, I have, I, have a, I have a reason for this. So we have a limited number of Zombicides that can go in the library. Really? Yes, there's too many, okay? It's the, the shelf size. So I said to our resident Zombicide expert, Z Garcia, Z Garcia, should I keep Zombicide dead or alive? And he said, no. This That's is twice, twice you throw me under the bus. This is twice now. I definitely would not have said that. You have Zombicide Night of the Living Dead in there. That's oh. a great one. I do not care about Night of the Living Dead. George Romero doesn't care about <laughs> Night of the Living Dead. Is that the right guy? Yeah, Thank that's him. You. George Romero doesn't care about Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> Nobody cares. That made like $12 on Kickstarter, okay? $12. Get it out of there. Undead or Alive is a great system. I yes. agree. Absolutely. When you take all the noise tokens and you go whoop, and you make one noise token, baby, <laughs> whoo, I'm back in. Do you own this game? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, then that's why it's not in the library. Z took it. Ooh. Oh. That's, that's three times. That's three times you throw me under the bus. Yes. I also own the Bloody Inn. Is it because I took it, Tom? Yes. Is it because I took yes. it? Yes. <laughs> 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 this is a good call. Yes, absolutely. Now, I, it's a great game. I don't think so because there only can be so many in the library. I agree. You don't. We need have this. regular Zombie Side, Zombie Side the two. Second edition, yeah. We yeah. have Marvel because obviously. Oh, obviously that well, one's better. Well, wait Sam. a minute. Did, you said you had the original Zombie Side and the second edition. No, no, no. It's just two point oh. Oh, okay. All right. I think. Do we have the space one? It's yes. on its last leg. You, you said you would cut that one. You should. I am going to chuck um, that one. Yeah, yeah you, that one's great, but I dead, think dead, this one's more modern. It's better. Undead or Alive is criminally higher than... Criminally than, higher? Yes. Hmm. It's like it should, it should be arrested. Are you okay, sir or madam? <laughs> madam. <laughs> the only way there should be another zombie side game put in the library is if they do something like Zombie Cruise. Otherwise, I'm over it. Zombie Cruise? That'd be cool, like a cruise ship. Everybody's stuck on a cruise ship? Yeah. They have that, Mike. The I could like madness. that. That's There's good, a, right? I would, that's good. I yeah, like that. Yeah. What about you, Z? That's not bad. It's like being on the train, but different. What? It's like being on a train, yeah. but different? Yeah. Because it's in the water? Uh-huh. What? Well, if we, if we hooked another ship behind us, it could be a cruise train. Hello. Yeah. Mm. That's an amazing idea. The floor just moved. <laughs> <laughs> it's the floor is moving it's here. It's floating yes. on the water. So what's your number two, Z? What's your number two, Z? Hold on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's very disturbing. I'm sorry. Because uh, from here, I'm seeing kids climbing the walls and the mm. floor shaking. It's freaking me out. My number two is a perfect fit for a library because it's... It has chapters that once you play that one scenario, you can't really play it again. It's a whodunit. And it's got like 12 stories in it. Once you've gone through them, you're done. They never came out with an expansion for it. And you probably, therefore, can just you know, go to our library, play one or two of those, and then you're good. It's a game called Deadline. And Deadline has this really simple, clean card system, kind of like the Grizzled. It's very similar to the Grizzled, in which you're adding cards to the same lineup, trying to get the symbols you need to shake somebody down or break into some room and figure out some stuff. If you manage to do that, 
You grab the card, flip it over, and read more of the story, more of the who done it. You do enough of these, you can puzzle together what happened, win the game. If you fail, you take some penalties, and that person doesn't want to talk to you. They kind of move on. You need to find a different way to do this. It's really neat. Such a clean way to do the, you know, uh, Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. Uh, very straightforward. I don't know why it's not in the library. It's such a good fit for that. The scenarios are pretty quick. It's like an hour game, clean, straightforward. It has that pulp, you know, pulpy sort of look, you know, 1930s gumshoe thing. It's very good. I'd consider this, but we have a lot of exit, unlock, not exit, but we have unlock, a lot of these games. They don't get checked out that much, actually. We are at an disadvantage. He has all the numbers and we don't. Right. Well, I just think maybe pull out the one exit that's doing particularly well and put a different game in there. I hate to cover this game so much. <laughs> Why? There it is. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. The truth comes yeah. out. Uh -huh. well, he hates you, the cover. Look with the cover. What is why going you, on there? Why do you that dislike guy's, that cover? That guy's hat makes Tom feel inadequate. Right. <laughs> Okay, he feels inferior right. somehow. They're both reaching for the gun, Tom. That's huh? that's yes. not better. That's not better than I don't think any of the unlock or exit games. Slow slow down. I'm not. I can't. No, follow I'm talking you. about the cover only. I'm not talking. Mm -hmm. Not talking about anything. Let's else. not follow that it. rabbit hole. They, they they have a lot of money to put into unlock. Covers. That's true. Mm -hmm. okay. Ixnay on Nick, the okay, got it. small company. Yes, um, sir. This is a game that should be in there, Tom. I rest my case. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well, You're witness. The more and more this goes on, it feels like Shark Tank, you know. Hey, sharks, put this game in the, li the library. My number two is got dice, but you don't roll them like traditional dice every turn. It's got pick up and deliver or delivery, which is the most underutilized game mechanism out there. I love pick up and delivery games. There's not enough of them. Definitely not enough of them that are set in the beautiful five villages of Italy. Oh, my Cinque word. Cinque Terre is Which not in one? the library. Which one? Cinque Terre. Thank you. Um, look, nobody's clapping because right? nobody's played this. Because Tom know. didn't put it in the library. If it was there, you would all play it, correct? Yes. yes. That was very half-hearted. Yes. Um, it's a, it's a pick-up-and-deliver game. It's a, it's a entry-level one. Uh, so it's it's something that I think most people could pick up and play. You you know it's a game at a convention you could learn from a rule book. It's not terribly complicated. The designer Chris Handy is known for those little pocket pocket Paco games, but he's done some other things too. This is a really good game. I don't know why it hasn't come back into print. Maybe Rio Grande just gave Are up on it. Are you blaming the Dice Tower Library, the lack of this being in there, for the reason this game doesn't go anywhere? Yes. Absolutely. I'll take that power. <laughs> Here's the future of the game publishers out here. We even have some publishers. Robert? No, Robert. Thank Dice you. Dice Tower Essential. Oh. <laughs> I got Mark Cuban out here crushing my dreams. Nice. All right. Cinque Terre, number two. It's going off without a hitch. Hey, Jason. No, 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 no. Make Jason run over here. Yeah, yeah. Come, come get one Jason, of these. Jason, run over here. Come on, Jason. Oh, no. No, you got to run, though. He's going to trip and fall, and you're going to feel terrible. Oh, that was much better form, though. Mine. <laughs> wow, that was a deceptive there hug. There it is. There it is. And finally, number one. Straight fire. Good job, buddy. You okay? I'm acting like he gave me the dead Smacked mic. This up. All right, no. Here we go. Number one. All right. My number one is, and I will come clean, uh, Assassin's Creed was partnered with <laughs> my number one. Uh, v Sabotage or V Commandos, the clerical error forced us to call in an audible, shall we say. And so that's why I had to move it to number four. But... V Commandos, V Sabotage, as it is called now, yeah. is my number one, along with Assassin's Creed, because Assassin's Creed is essentially the same thing. There are differences to allow for the new theme, 
of the video game and a lot of the different things that happen there, but it is essentially the same game, same stealth system. Uh, in this one, you're uh, doing missions in World War II. In the other one, you're following the storyline of the, of the game. Um, you can swim, right? <laughs> Did you see that? You I okay? saw something. The water came from the floor. Yeah. The Kraken. It's the Kraken. <laughs> but that's my number one, V Commandos. It's so you had, so you had four games on your list. That's right. The top five had four games. <laughs> no, there's, there's definitely five different games on my list. Yeah. It's hard for me to take this one seriously because it's like this brutal game and all I can hear is merry-go-round music. Why you're it's talking? It's very about hard this. to focus what? right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very Rider hard. Really Anything we say right now sounds like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is sitting right by my desk. It could, it could go in the library on Monday, but but it probably <laughs> won't. You know why it hasn't been considered? What? I haven't seen it because it's on Z's shelf near his desk. That's five four. times. No, that's four, four. That's five. That's, that's five? There's two boxes, the minis and the base game. <laughs> so two. That's five times you throw me under the bus, man. I don't know if I'd put this one in because it's a two-player game, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't care about that. I specifically need it to not matter <laughs> for my number one we don't care that it's only a two-player game, okay? Two-player games are great. I, for one, approve Assassin's of Assassin's Creed is not a, just a two-player game. Let's go though. ahead and say Actually, it's just no, a two-player no, game. Actually, no, I'm, I'm wrong. I am yes, he said it. A stupido. I yeah. am wrong. You can play multiple, multiple players. You can have, uh, it's everybody against the game. You can have multiple players, yes. Okay. You're being encroached it's, upon, it's sir. It's creeping on me, this water. <laughs> So basically, every, almost every single game on my list, the reason it's not in the library is because of I you. I have it, apparently, or I said no. I don't know. That, does, that seems shady. It does. Definitely for the undead or alive. That seems very shady. Very shady. I 100% asked you about that one. No, I wasn't there at the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my number one. Number one, numero uno. A long time ago. Mm. In a galaxy Tom far used up. to, what's that? I was continuing the quote, but go ahead. A long time ago. Don't, don't start something I'm going to finish. Tom used to not put... No, calm down, calm down. <laughs> you can, uh, used to not put two-player games in the library. He didn't like them in there. He wanted bigger group games. He had some logic for it. Fine, we all follow that logic. That logic went away, and some of his favorite two-player games are certainly in there now. I just saw Summoner Wars in there. Mm. There's a bunch more. You no Ooh. longer follow that rule, that's my point. That, that was never a rule. It was definitely a rule. It was a real make my Sam play in groups more than two rule. <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah. It was a real rule. It was a demand. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. My number one is Blue Moon, okay? Oh. Mm. Blue oh. Moon mm. from the despised Reiner Knizia. Mm-hmm. Who's on this cruise? What? <laughs> I'd have a rise up out behind you. I got Blue Moon, be. later released as Blue Moon Legends, same game, is a wonderful two-player game that manages to feel like a trading card game-esque kind of game, but way simpler and self-contained. It's a great head-to-head -head game. It is very attractive, very well made, and very modular as well, especially if you get the Blue Moon Legends that had everything in one box. For some reason, this is not in the library, and I cannot fathom why, because I know certainly I would pull it off the shelf and teach it all the time. That's why it's not in the library, because he doesn't well, want no, to teach so it all, all the time. time. All Z's, the time. Z's incorrect in that we've never had two-player, we've always had two-player games in the library. But I discourage having too many of them because we want to have more multiplayer games going. So we have a shelf of Cosmos two-player games, or that size they're in. Um, and uh, only the best can go on that shelf. There's only so much space, and Blue Moon doesn't cut it. And one time I asked Zia, I said, I don't know. And you were like, nah, not that many people really like the game. OK, that one's made up. <laughs> but <laughs> the other ones are true, though. 
They believed you for a second. I believed you for a second, to be honest. <laughs> it's been long enough. I'm like, maybe I did say that. <laughs> no, it's in a big box now anyway. It's in a big box now, yeah. It's too yeah. big for no, how small No, no, it it's a regular, it's not a it's huge box. It's a ticket box. to ride size box. How it's many ticket, ticket to ride, ride copies yeah, do you have like in the library, ticket Tom? Size, yeah. Ticket to ride, Vassal. How many are in there? All of them. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's time to make some cuts, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody needs to play Poland six and a half That's or right. whatever. You got to go. Get it out of there. <laughs> You've got to go. You've upset oh, Laura. She's, not, she's, she's saying no, no chance. You're not taking Poland anywhere. Who, who wants Poland in? Laura Vassal. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I lose to that. That's correct. Yep. Yes, you do. All right, Mike. All right. My number one is such an egregious oversight that uh, I alerted the Royal Caribbean security in case I thought people might rush the stage and try to attack Tom Vassal. Wow. So please don't. My number one is a pure push-your-luck game that contains dice and not much else by one of the most incredible game designers of all time, Sid Saxon. How on earth is Can't Stop not in the Dice Tower library? Are you kidding this me? This is one of your favorite push-your-luck games. Okay. Are you kidding me? You got nothing. He, no. pro he probably doesn't like the cover. Right. Silence well, is I don't deafening. either. Actually, it's, it's very, you're close. The original game's not in the library because the box size is egregiously annoying. Oh. Oh, because there have are definitely no annoying size Shut boxes up. in the library. Have you seen your library? <laughs> right. I, I know. <laughs> are you kidding me? So I, I knew there was a nicer, more compact version coming out. There and it I is. I was going to put that in the library. You're going to get the play And version? I forgot. Not good enough. We expect more from you, Vassal. <laughs> Can't stop. Must meanwhile, be. Meanwhile, you can play. Egregiously Thank you. large Thank box. Thank you, folks. Everybody that I see checking out Foundations of Rome, two people have to carry it away. Same thing with Oathsworn. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. I'm sorry. Sponsored by sorry. Arcane Wonders, I'm everybody. Sorry. I didn't say anything bad about the game. People play Foundations of Rome. No one's asking me for Can't Stop. This That's is because probably. they assume People play it's Foundations there. of Rome because Can't Stop isn't that good <laughs> and not as good as Foundations of Rome. <laughs> we played Can't Stop the first cruise. I remember that. We played before the cruise? You no, said? the very first cruise Can't Stop was on. I remember playing it on the cruise. Nobody remembers that, man. No. That was like a decade ago. A was decade it? ago? Who's in every cruiser? Thank you. Do you remember Can Stop that first year? No. No. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. I rest my case again. The people Confirm. have spoken. That's All correct. right. Well, speaking of the people, we're going to have a few people from the Dice Tower come up and give a couple games that they think should be in the Dice Tower library, starting with Joey Evans. Oh, Joey no. Evans, everybody. Oh, no. Joey it's, oh, it's a Evans. Travesty. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey know, Evans oh, and Jason no. for some reason. Oh, no. He Jason wore the wrong shoes. Jason and Joey Evans. What are we we need a microphone, Mike. There's a microphone right there. Right there. Here, Mike, you use this dead one. Here's a dead one for you, Mike. Here, Joey. I'm sorry, Robert. Don't leave. I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. My first game really sums up the people of the Dice Tower. It's got push your luck so Mike will like it. It's got cubes so the yeast completely in. It takes place in a library, so you studious people. And because, Camilla, it's also got fire. So this is fire in the library. This is a push-your-luck game. Who's played this here? No one. Perfect. All right. This is a push-your-luck game. Terrible. Really fun, really quick. Oh, it's terrible. Really great. This is about 40, 45 minutes. Beautiful artwork. Push-your-luck. Cubes. Come on, Tom. Have you played it? I've never played it, actually. Oh, I know someone who played it. Mike Delisio played it. It's terrible. Don't listen to Mike Delisio. This <laughs> oh, is a wait, great game. Oh, wait, we found somebody wait, else wait. who played it. Did Mike say this it was bad? This guy played it over here. What did you think, sir? Uh, I find it terrible. Did Mike say it was bad? <laughs> it's in the library. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's called getting cinque terre. <laughs> All right, well, the next, my, my next one, this is my number one. When I was going to do this, this was the game I was going to put in because this is a story-driven game. And this is before I worked at the Dice Tower. I watched Tom's review of this, which was not good. 
and I immediately said to myself, Tom apparently does not like fun. This right here is a story-driven game. It's got beautiful artwork, and this is Escape from the Dark Castle right up here. This is not, let's see here. Wait, it's coming. <laughs> the suspense on this one is killing me. There we go. All right. Wait, what? This right here. What? This, should, what? this is great artwork. This was in my top 10 artwork I did with Z and Camilla. This is story driven. It's 40, 45 minutes. There Everyone is no loves way you believe the artwork thing. You don't like the artwork on this? No one likes the artwork on this. That's not true. I was, I was Does anybody out there like man. that artwork? Boo this man. Thank okay. you. This Thank is you. beautiful wrong, standard wrong. RPG artwork right here. Has anyone I'm, played I'm this? I'm fairly certain that guy's the artist. All oh, right. So okay. This, Sorry. This, yeah, the artist is here. Come on up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this is Escape from the Dark Castle, and this should be in the library for everyone to enjoy and for us to put on the wall. Escape the Dark Castle. All right, well, taking mm. out the artwork... Mm. This game is so bad. This oh. I hate this. This so game much. is wonderful. It's story driven, and is it a it's story driven. Story game driven. You randomly draw a card and roll a die, and you're done. Yes. Yeah, that's called that is fun. accurate. We call that but fun. But it's fun. Tom. We <laughs> and fun. I'm standing by it. The artwork, Tom. The artwork. Mic drop. All right, thank you, Joey. No, uh, let's move that, on no. here. <laughs> Next we have. No, the answer is no. Chris Yee. Yeah. yeah. The ye man. What? Joey, thank you for some very terrible picks so mine look better. <laughs> I have two. Tom, I understand why you might not have picked this first one. These two upstart young designers, you might not have heard of them, named Kramer and Kiesling. Ooh. This is I'm one. okay so far because they've done some stinkers. Ooh. This one is a gem. Nay, it's a, uh, it's a lump of coal. It's called Coal Baron. This is a delightful worker placement game. You get to not only dig coal, which I know all of you are so excited about right now, but you get to play with an elevator. You get to move it up and down, Tom. But it's elevator. The last thing I want to hear right, right now is about Chris. the elevators. Correct. You picked the wrong <laughs> time to throw this one out. <laughs> elevators, whoo, pass. Okay, so yeah. actually... Chris is correct. This should be in the dice tower. Wait, library. hold your whoa, horses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I thought it was. Is this so. the first one that he's actually agreed with? I think so. This is uh, the first no, one. No, I agreed with uh, the, the stabby kill that the people in the... The bloody end. end? Yeah. Good, good man. What? <laughs> yeah, can't oh, stop, too. Can't stop. Okay, fine. All right. No, okay. this is a... I've never played this. I played the card game, and it's very good, but I heard the board game's better. Yes, yeah, and I also would recommend not holding out for the new edition. It looks ugly as sin. That's true, and that's why it's currently... You're right, because we got the new edition, didn't we? Not yet, no. No, you did. You no. compared them. Yeah, if you want a good edition of a Euro game, get the one from R&R. &R. That's what I always say, you know? <laughs> well, actually, I agree with that a little, but this one was a reprint. They, they, they just printed it straight from Germany, so it looks pretty good. Got it. Right. Germans are good looking, is what he just said. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Except All right, my number one. one, Tom, I have you on record. There's no record, folks. But you said to me in person that this one should be in the Dice Tower Library. Two player game. You already Small got one. Small box size fits in that same should Cosmos be. two player line, Lookout two player line. You have multiple games in this line of games, but not the original Agricola, all creatures big and small. You have Caverna Jr. You have a uh, yeah, Junior. Yeah, I don't actually understand why that one's not in. Because it's better than Caverna. Yes. Not Agricola being better than Caverna. That's not true. No, Tom but says Agricola, better than Caverna. All creatures great and small win. is better than Caverna, the whatever, whatever. Cave versus cave. Uh, yeah, man. The cave, the cave versus, versus cave. cave. Yeah. Chris, you're correct on both counts. What? Undefeated? All right, well, after Chris, we are jumping to Camilla. Camilla Clay. Camilla, ladies and gentlemen. Camilla, coming up on the oh, stage. Hello. And here is your microphone. I bestow this upon you. <laughs> All right, first up for me is a game that has 
almost replaced in my personal collection. Well, first of all, you have to understand, I have like 30 games total in my personal collection. And this one has almost replaced two of them. I keep it there, keep it still, all three of them, because I think that there's something for everyone in them. The one I'm talking about is Dead Men Tell No Tales. This sits strongly right beside Pandemic and Flashpoint Fire Rescue. I have friends that love Pandemic and want something a little bit put more. put her up to this. Boom, you got Dead Man Tell No Tales. Z put you up to this, didn't he? No, this no, is not. No, I played this, this before This is a great Z. game. I, Actually, know. I, I, I know it's a great game. Better than that fire game for I sure. Because, Shut up, you. I thought because Z didn't mention it, because I was waiting for this one, I thought, I guess it is in the library after all. Because <laughs> I thought for sure it this not. would be in your top no. five. It is not. No. I checked. Okay, I had well, this before. I Z think wanted to happened, put six and six games on his list, but he couldn't, so he was just like, here, you say this one. I think we got a copy of this <laughs> in, and I wasn't sure, so Z kept it. Um, Again? Z? Bam! Well, here's what you have to understand. I have about 6,000 games. <laughs> Any game that Tom doesn't, doesn't keep, I keep. Yeah. <laughs> okay? No, I, the truth. I actually meant to get this one like a year or so ago, and I looked it up, and it was really pricey. And I thought they were reprinting it at some point. I think they did reprint it. But I never got a copy of that reprint. Didn't they go under? N did they go under? And then Renegade picked it up. The ship eventually does sink if you don't and win. And then Renegade yeah. never sent me the copy that I backed on Kickstarter. Thanks a lot, Renegade. Yeah, you got you to gotta put this in there. Well, that actually brings me to my second game. Because my next game, when you come to the Dice Tower event, you come for two reasons, right? You come to find new games that you want to play before you buy them. Right? Hey, I want to try it out. Let's use Tom's money, not mine, before I commit. Right? The second reason is maybe there's a novelty item that you can't get because it's too expensive. So you come to have that experience. So my second game, I can't remember the title right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. There it is. H.H. Holmes Murder Castle. Have I played this game? No, because I can't find it. Tom, it should be in the library. I've never even so seen I can play this. It, and then I can what? seek it out and find it. I've heard about this. It's... This is where the guy killed people in his house, right? No, it's in, oh Ooh. no, it's so much better. It's in a hotel. <laughs> See, he would, he would like have people feature? come in. <laughs> it's a murder hotel. It's a castle and it had all these secret passageways. And so you are in as a resident of this hotel trying to make it through the night and get out. You'd That's know that in the library and you could play it. Well, I, don't, I haven't even seen it. How could it go in the library? I'd go find it for us. We don't know. <laughs> this seems like a personal shopping list at this point. <laughs> All righty. Well, <laughs> I think you need this in there with the bloody in. Again, it's like the same All thing right, from so two points of view. Wendy was next, it. but she had to run so off to handle some something strings, very Basil. quickly, so she's not here to defend her choices. So we're just going to look at them because they're in the PowerPoint. So, Roy, go ahead and show both of her choices, and uh, we'll see if they're any good. Push. Whose choices are these? Wendy. Wendy's. Okay. Push, push is a very... Nice push your luck little card game, but not before can't stop, you know. Nah. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, but I can fit this in a library I love easier this game, than can't though. stop. I, I, this is a great introductory game. If you want something very easy to play, flip over cards, push your luck, kind of like a Circus Flocati, but with a cover that won't terrify you. All right, what's you the next it. one? Tybor the Builder. Wow, Okay. So Tiber the Builder is from uh, Uwe Rosenberg. No, is it? Yes. No, it's Alexander Pfister. Sorry, Alexander Pfister. Pfister. Alexander Pfister. It's a, it's a very good game. I didn't put it in because uh, I can't pronounce that, and uh, no one would play it. it. It looks great. But it wouldn't get played. That's why it's not in the library. Uh. All right, so those are Wendy's choices. Not as good as Chris's. All right. Jason, come make your selections. Oh, Wait, right, Jason picks them? Jason picks them, too. He got two. Here um, we go. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm course. taking bets that he owns these in shrink. Let's go. Who wants to take money on that? I was just going to say, would, whatever would, he picks, he I has to get to add to in that bet. Sam's in with me. Go for it. Well, bef before I get to it, it's Check Games here. Um, there's Check Games, and there's Julie. This isn't one of my picks, but Under Falling Skies and Final Girl are both amazing, and they both won Dice Store Awards for Solo Game of the Year. Mike, why do you think we, they're not in the library? I, I just want to know why, Mike. Shouldn't we have a solos gaming section? I refuse to answer on the grounds that it might incriminate me because my boss is right over my shoulder <laughs> over here. <laughs> but but that seemed rehearsed. That was still a shout out to the publishers. Regardless, we, we know why there's no solo games. But they're I do fantastic. have two games, 
And this one I'm looking at you about. Yes. No, I, I, it was going to go in the library, and I told Tom not to put it in there, probably. So this game is an <laughs> awesome game. It came out about 10 years ago by Argentum Verlog. Um, we, I know that we have a copy because I personally picked up a copy this year from Spielworks at Essen. Why is Yunnan not in the library, Tom? Okay, so at the risk of uh, Z getting mad at me here, I have never played Yunnan. Okay, hold on. I think I've played this game. Let me, let me check on something. Is this the one with the donkey up the mountain? And it's a bidding game where you bid to bid to do the different actions. It's an action bidding game. It's awesome. <laughs> it's I really hate awesome. This game so no, much. No, no. Tell us how you really feel. Oh, Z. I hate this game so, so much. So actually, Jason, distinctly, I remember Jason. we were at a game meetup, and some Euro gamer guy talked Z and Sam into playing it. And afterwards, they both told me how much they hated it. And you haven't seen her since, have you? And that's why it's not a library. Too, too dark. It's probably too dark. What are, you, where are you going with that? It's too dark. Okay, I was way <laughs> too dark. It got really dark. I'm trying to turn it around here. <laughs> Tom, you need to play it. It deserves to be in there. How many people have played Yunnan? Crickets. How many people want to play Yunnan? Go look at the pictures of it on BGG. No. It will no, sell you. No. <laughs> now, no. Now, my next one. Your last um, one. My, my <laughs> last one and my next one. Um, this game's awesome. No, this game's great. In fact, it's so great. You just that it downgraded word, it. It, went it has awesome the word. To great. It has the word "great" in the title because it's so great. Um, and you can't complain about the artwork because this is probably the game that has the best artwork from Splatter. Do you are you guys Splatter <laughs> fans? The Great Zimbabwe. It's got gods. You're building out chains of awesome stuff, and it's got good components. Come on, Tom. Why is that not in there? Well, first of all, you're like it has great artwork for Splatter, but no, this one I consider putting in. It's just too expensive. I'm going to work on that next also, year. Also, other, other than Eric Summer, no one plays Splatter games. Uh, the Yees do. They haven't. They didn't put this on their list. I don't know be, why. This should have been on five lists. I think a lot of people that like Splatter games own the Splatter games. And they game. play right. them at home, right? Yeah. They play it at home. They don't want to be seen with like, their great shame. Like, like out Jason. In public. Jason probably owns this with game. With the Splatter it's sitting, games. He probably owns two copies of this game. Do you own two copies of the Great Zimbabwe? Just, just one. Well, but thank you for your just, donation. <laughs> is it open? <laughs> yes. I've played my copy. That's one of the games I've you played. You played your library. copy of it? Yes. That's a rarity. With folks. other people? Yes. <laughs> All right. Our next you. person here is Brian Drake. Where are you? Oh, he's got to come from the other side. Brian. He's actually going to pull his. Look at that. Yeah, take your time. Yeah. Take your time. Heels have to walk from the other side of the road there. Oh. So, um, yeah, this was fascinating. You've got Z talking about killing people. You've got Camilla talking about killing people in a hotel. So if you see them in the hallway, do not go anywhere near their room because they would clearly, obviously, relish slaughtering you in the hotel room. But I have two games here. Hence the reason we did this. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> you can Keep tell going. Brian is a... Keep going, Tyson. Now, look, to be fair... He's a public speaker, Joey everybody. sent me a text. He, he said, hey, I need two games that aren't in the library. I was like, I don't know what that means, but I'll send two games that aren't in the library. Now, my first one is pretty much just for nostalgia's sake because I loved this as a kid. Is it fun? No, it's not a great game. It's just a toy. But we have Behind the Eight Ball, which albeit is just a toy, and you get to play a little strategy. My first game is... 13 Dead End Drive. Classic, right? It's a toy. Nobody actually knows the rules. You just set up the people and have the axe fall on the toy that's made out of Play-Doh. It's great, right? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> but I can see why it's not in the library. Look at me. Is what? there a, is there a you, correlation? Look at me in the eyes. Do you really think that should be in the library? No. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, to be a, fair, my text a, said, what are two big. games that should be in the library? And I was like, yeah, that could be. You know, it's like 2,000. Uh, hey, that being said, there's some that I think shouldn't be in the library, but that's a different podcast altogether. But Have you ever played 1313 Dead End Drive? Yes, that's the sequel. It came with the, uh, the, the motorcycle. Lot, it's a lot Wait. better. Wait, 13. there's two different games? No, he's yeah. lying. Yeah, 13 Dead End Drive is not the same game as 1313. Dead End Drive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time I, out, time ne out. I never knew that. Is this no, real? Oh, 100%. It's, that's real. No, no, for real, though. Yeah. Is this real? That's a real look, thing. Look, look, look. We all know the Z humor. Is this real? This is a real thing. Does I it have Play-Doh? own the sequel. There's no Play-Doh? There's Are we on no the... Play-Doh. No. Then I don't want it. 
Okay, my number two pick is not going to be correct up here because when I was given this instructions, I forgot that this is my number one pick of games that should be in the library. And I even asked you about this last year because I wanted to play it, and I was so upset. So ignore the picture. My second game that should be in the library is <clears throat> WWE Royal Rumble, the world's greatest wrestling game. Oh, yeah, baby, the American Dream says, I don't know why Tom Vessel didn't put it in the library. Oh, yeah, listen here, Thomas H. Vessel. I'm not sure why it's not in the library, but it plays up to eight people. It, it might be the microphones, but I don't understand a word you said. <laughs> I don't think anybody understood the Macho Man. So mine is Royal Rumble by Ravensburger. We have a strict no WWE stuff in the library. <laughs> it was, it was a you, very you fans, good. You fans were already rambunctious enough. It was a very good Macho Man impression. Thank that's you. why you couldn't understand anything. That's, it, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly Who right. Who is Macho Man? No, don't do that. In fact, you know what? Come the final show, you may just find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Who? <laughs> Who gave him that? I just hope it's cold outside, because good Lord. Okay. So those are my picks. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Sam. Thank All you, right. Z. You're welcome. Thank you, Mike. I You're welcome. You have, I think You're you have welcome. the least chance of anybody about getting your games in. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a correlation between being a magician and having awful picks for this? Whoa. It would I, seem so. I think there is. He All kinda, right. He kind of just pulled them out oh, of Oh, no hat. offense, Joey. No offense. <laughs> All right, Eric Summer, do you got any games for us? Yes. Number 38. <laughs> so I have a clarification and a pick. One, I was just talking with Julie over there, who also plays Splatter games, which I think outranks you as far as numbers on the current podcast Ooh. on Splatter fans. Ah, that's true. Ooh. Nice. Second, Mr. Delisio is right. Pick up and deliver is a sadly underutilized mechanism. Oh, you are not. Agreed. I know. <laughs> And one of the classic pick-up-and-deliver games... That no one's ever heard of. Yeah. That you won't even see a picture of, because Tom doesn't want you to know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't handle the truth. It's called Logistico. What now? Logistico? Yeah, I know, right? Blake, oh, yes. Blake. You, get, you have planes, you have cars, you have a boat, and you got to get cubes to discs. And that's it. And you do it well, and you score lots of money. But Tom will say that you can do nothing... <laughs> and score better than other people. That's correct! That's only because he played it one time and he did terribly. Also correct! <laughs> and he's holding a grudge against Logistico, <laughs> which should be in the Dice Tower library. Respect the classics. Eric, Thank is there you. no picture because this game only exists in your mind? No, it exists. No, it exists. It's okay. real. Okay. It is real. There's Thank no you. pictures because Eric was asked to do this at the last second. Uh, Not that he was for forgotten or anything. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That was, a, that was an empowered speech. Yeah, okay. Was. I'm moved. Yeah, me too. Well, we want to give you all time to get to supper, but is there anyone here who has a burning desire to come up and give their pick? Oh, my. Miss right, Bonnie. Bonnie, come Ms. on Bonnie down. Bonnie McPherson. Come up, come up over here in the oh, middle. Oh, here we go. It's Bonnie. It's wet up here. Watch your step. Yes, watch your step. No drinks on stage either. She didn't even have a drink. Okay. A lot of you played this with me at other places because I always bring my copy. This is a really fun team kind of party game called Poetry for Neanderthals. And it's really fun. It's a word game, so if you like word games. But you get to, and the reason why it's not in the library, I know why, because it's got a blow up bat. But they, it's an easily solvable problem because all you need is a pool noodle to be able to bunk somebody on the head. Instead yes, of the back. violent. Yes. I'm sure that was amazing. Thank I didn't you, hear Bonnie. what you said. Bonnie gets it, y'all. Bonnie said poetry for Neanderthals. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm considering it. All right. Good. Either way, Bonnie brings it to every one of our events, so it's an unofficial library game. Bonnie, is it here? See, then I, why do I bother? Yes. Money comes to everything. It saves me the space. <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. Good, good Very one, cool. Bonnie. I like Thank that. Thank you, Bonnie. All right, anybody else? All right, right down here. Remember, you're on a Dice Tower show when you come up. Steel drums are a great accent. 
All right, so I know I have the designer on my side because I talked to him about it earlier this convention. Oh, great flex. And yes. I know that you don't have it because you don't want to put expansions in the library. Oh, come but on. But I would argue <laughs> that Viticulture World is a standalone game essentially that's very different than Viticulture. And Mahir did amazing, and it should be in the library. Who even made that? How much did Mahir pay you? Where's Mahir? Mahir, are you here? No, because he's probably playing a game somewhere. Didn't even bother to show up. No. I, <laughs> yeah, so we made the decision last year, um, not too far long ago, actually, to pull expansions from the library because it was just getting messy. People were leaving the expansion stuff in the base game. If we put the expansion stuff in the base game, it was confusing. People would open it, start weeping openly, and close it. Um, and so, with very, very few exceptions, we, we just got rid of them because most ex expansions are playable by people who own the game. It's for them that at home, but not your first play at a con. Viticulture World's a tough choice because it changes the game completely, and we're still thinking about it, and Mihir reminds me about it once a day at conventions. <laughs> and apparently hires other people to do the same. Oh, we got more. Is the, is the merry-go-round music getting louder? It's getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my pick is Subterra. Yes. Ooh. Wait, that's not in the library? It's not. Vassal. I, know. <laughs> I, have a, I, have I need a, to do a top ten. I know that you will agree with me. I know that Camilla and Joey want to learn to play it. And there's a whole group of us that are lifelong friends as a result of playing a non-dice tower copy in the library at the end of the last cruise. Yeah. Okay, so I want to put Subterra in the library. I can't get a copy of it. Well, look harder. Well, talk to uh, Ilya. Ilya Masilov. He is here somewhere. Where's Ilya? And he has a copy. That guy and has he can probably right tell you how okay. to get it. If I it's get a copy, I'll put it in. It's Andrew Wiener an just Andrew like Wiener an is copy. saying he has an extra copy. Yeah, if you want I'll his extra it. copy, go to electronicbay.com <laughs> and bid like everybody else. <laughs> Special treatment vassal, they call it. All right, last <laughs> chance. Anyone else? Here we go. Yes. This guy's got a real H.H. H. Holmes feel to him. Is that a Michigan Here hat? Here we go. You just coming out of the woodwork, ain't yeah, you? Yeah, baby, go blue. Y'all people been go blue. quiet the whole time. It's either that or Monsters, Inc. Or something. No, actually, you're on the wrong side. You gotta be okay. Okay. What are we, what's are you, happening, guys? What are you doing? Impromptu palm reading that, going on? Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. Yeah, I okay, understand. I gotcha. So my game is a great dungeon crawler with lots of dice chucking. Mm. Shadows of Brimstone. Shadows of Brimstone. Okay, well, this one's easy. No. <laughs> and and, and there's, a, there's several reasons for that. One, we're fading a lot of dungeon crawls out of the library because people barely play them. Two is, the moment I opened the Shadows of Brimstone box and saw you had to cut the sprues off and put them, yeah. I closed the box and sold it to a guy at the yeah. store on the spot. Now, if Z would build it for me. You want me to do me, it all. You're going to blame me somehow. If Z for would build well, it for Z me. Well, Z was asked to cut them and glue them. <laughs> I've heard, many, I've heard many good things about it. I just feel like it's a, if you own it, you play it at home type thing. Yeah. Yeah, he has no need for your copy. He just wants to <laughs> kick the hornet's nest. That's right. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Anybody All else right. want to blame me for stuff? Who wants to blame Z for oh, stuff? Oh, Calm down, Julie. Calm down. <laughs> All righty. Like, like okay, 15 well, hands shot up. Everybody's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll get things going here so you can get ready for supper. I hope that the cruise is going well for you. I hope that you continue to have a good time. That was more applause than anything Sam said. I know. I would like I'm to. I'm okay, though. It's all right. One last thing. Gosh darn it. Lots of gaming like continuing on. I encourage you, look for people who are gaming by themselves and join, get them to join you. If you're sitting down to play a game, look for other people. Go around, check out, play games with other people. But for now, let's get ready to eat. Thank yeah. you all for coming. Until next Thank time, you, I'm Tom Vassell. Fa Sam Healy. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Jason Levine. And we'll see you at our next show here on Saturday, day 7, 8.30 p.m. Yeah! Thank you.